We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Deep down within us, June 17th, we found the great reality deep down within us. In the last analysis, it is only there that he may be found. Searching diligently within yourself. With this attitude, you cannot fail. The consciousness of your belief is sure to come to you. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 55. It was out of the depths of loneliness, depression, and despair that I sought the help of Alcoholics Anonymous. As I recovered and began to face the emptiness and ruin of my life, I began to open myself to the possibility of the healing that recovery offers through the AA program. By coming to meetings, staying sober, and taking the steps, I had the opportunity to listen with increasing attentiveness to the depths of my soul. Daily I waited, in hope and gratitude, for that sure belief and steadfast love I had longed for in my life. In this process, I met God, as I understand Him. We are all miracles. Our higher power has been with us our entire life. We were the ones who had our eyes closed to him. It is like the picture, the parable of the footprints in the sand. First, there were two sets of footprints. Then, after a while, only one pair of footprints. Our self-centered thinking believed it was God who abandoned us, when in reality, it was God who was carrying us, and it was our footprints that went away. Deep down in every man, woman, and child is the fundamental idea of God. It may be obscured by calamity, by pomp, by worship of other things, but in some form or other, it is there. For faith in a power greater than ourselves and miraculous demonstrations of that power in human lives are facts as old as man himself. We finally saw that faith in some kind of God was a part of our makeup, just as much as the feeling we have for a friend. Sometimes we had to search fearlessly, but he was there. If our testimony helps sweep away prejudice, enables you to think honestly, encourage you to search diligently within yourself, then, if you wish, you can join us on the broad highway. With this attitude, you cannot fail. The consciousness of your belief is sure to come to you. Our minds on our own willpower go to our personal preservation and desires when left on our own. We are amazed how easy and wonderful life is when we have faith in a higher power who we turn our will over to. Our higher power takes our stress and burdens and easily carries them for us, which frees us to live on the loving spiritual plane no longer worrying about things out of our control. We change our attitude about life because we know in our hearts and minds that we were never in control and our higher power can and will protect us and provide for us all we need. We came to believe in a power greater than ourselves out of desperation. A willingness to think differently, even for a moment, is all it took. Trusting the process was not as difficult as we thought, because we felt better from the beginning. Partly because the toxin alcohol had been removed, but mostly because the spirit had entered. A new friend in our lives had what we were looking for. Working the steps with our sponsor uncovered our defects, and we were able to let them go to him for his removal. We trust the process when we see how it has worked with millions of other sufferers before us. We let go and let God. It is the easier, softer way. Deep down within us, June 17th, we found the great reality deep down within us. 
In the last analysis, it is only there that he may be found. Searching diligently within yourself. With this attitude, you cannot fail. The consciousness of your belief is sure to come to you. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 55. It was out of the depths of loneliness, depression, and despair that I sought the help of Alcoholics Anonymous. As I recovered and began to face the emptiness and ruin of my life, I began to open myself to the possibility of the healing that recovery offers through the AA program. By coming to meetings, staying sober, and taking the steps, I had the opportunity to listen with increasing attentiveness to the depths of my soul. Daily I waited, in hope and gratitude, for that sure belief and steadfast love I had longed for in my life. In this process, I met God, as I understand Him. Carpe the diem, boys and girls. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.